Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Now uh, we have had an update just drop and uh, while there is just a massive amount of things that have changed, uh, updates and that, there's a lot of them you probably won't notice. Uh, so let's just have a look at, just start by having a look at probably one of the first things you will notice, especially if you play, pl plug back into a saved game, you'll notice that our humble old solar panels have changed. Uh, well, not changed greatly, but um, uh, enough to be something that'll have to cause you to throw away all of your old solar tracking skips um, because uh, they're now different. You will notice that the solar panels, instead of tracking their, their vertical, uh, if we look at the tooltip there, it's now vertical at 90 degrees. 100 degrees, 110 degrees, it's no longer a percentage. So all the old uh, solar scripts used to calculate the, uh, the vertical angle in percents, um, which is what it needed. That's no longer the case. So they won't work anymore. So they, all the old scripts tra tracked from 0 to 100, and now this one needs to track from uh, 15 over to 165. But fortunately, that actually makes your solar scripts a lot easier to make, or your logic, or whatever it is you like to use. Uh, so that is something you'll have to do if you any saved games, uh, any tutorials on solar panels are, that are more than older than, well, today, they're all wrong. Throw them out, start again. Right, so let's have a quick look at how we can do that now. Cool. Uh, so we'll need some solar panels. Uh, we'll, we'll set up a set up a batch of them there and we shall batch right to them. Yeet. We can also throw further. That's pretty cool. Um, right. Yeet. Haha. <laughs> uh, what do you want? A battery. Yep. Tool. Give me. Uh, so I should want a battery. I uh, shall put ye there. Boop. I uh, shall want some cables, of course. Yeah, cables. Uh, I've got three solar panels. Light cables will be good enough for what we're doing here. So this is hooking up the power. Once again, oops, just to the input of the battery. So nothing new about that. Uh, I'm using the dual dual connecting solar panels. Uh, and if we should shut on, we should now be getting power. We are. Right, now, uh, sun rises over that way. We'll start, if you're just looking to do uh, just vertical tracking only, uh, we shall need a sensor, of course. Sensor, we should put the sensor just facing sunrise. So I shall put it where I can reach it, not there, you fool, there. Right, so that is now facing sunrise, uh, which is good enough on Mars. Uh, you can do more if you want, but um, don't really need to. Uh, so back to cables. So I shall want to hook up cause that to the uh, power and all the data connections, because the data connections are how we're going to control the angle of the solar panels, of course. Uh, boop, done. Now the solar panel will read, uh, the solar sensor will read zero pointing up directly from the face of it. So when it's sitting on the um, horizon, it'll be reading zero. And when it is right the other side, it will read 180. Yep. Which is what we want from here, because this one, when it is set to zero, it'll be facing there. Well, that doesn't go down to zero anymore. And as it tracks across the sky to 90, it will be up there. So all we have to do now is just directly read from there and write it to there. So all I need is uh, some logic chips. Where are you? There you go. So I can just grab a couple of them. All I shall need is a reader boop, and a batch writer because we're writing out to multiple multiple items. Uh, yep, get away. And we can just connect them up as we have in the past. 
we need to hook up the inputs, the outputs, and the power. Now I should just hook up, just want to read from this one to that one. So I'll hook up the output of that one directly to the input of that one, and that's it. It's all wired up. Uh, now we need the screwdriver. So a logic reader, we need to read in from the uh, screwdriver. Thank you. Read in from the daylight sensor. We're going to read the vertical angle. Switch it on. 101, which is a bit past halfway in the sky, that looks about right. And we shall put our output, shall go to the uh, solar panels. We shall read in from the logic reader and we're writing out the vertical angle. Switch it on and we should all track to them. That looks like it's doing it right. So there you go, single axis solar tracking is now just done with the two chips. You don't need the mass processor in there to change anything at all. And we're tracking. On Mars, it almost goes directly overhead. The sun almost goes directly overhead. So you're getting, well, we're still getting 87%. Uh, but if you want two axis tracking, uh, you've got to go a bit more. For two axis tracking, we will have to set up our sensor a little bit differently. Uh, Oh, yep. there's my sensor. Boop. Now, for two axis tracking, first thing we want to do is find out which way our solar panels are pointing. So, if we put them uh, down as low as they go, uh, they don't turn down to zero or zero anymore. So, but we have our horizontal angle is a zero, vertical angle is turned right down. So, that's the way it points uh, basically. For its starting angle. You want to line up the sensor in the same direction. So you want to point it up so the head of the sensor, the rounded part of it, is facing the same direction as where this solar panel is sitting when it's pointing to zero. Uh, or the data connection points at the face of it, whichever way you want to think of that. So we can put it there. So the rounded end is now facing whichever direction that's facing when it's set to zero, zero. Uh, right, so now these two are all matched in the same direction. So that's all we need to do. Now we should use the same configuration from here to read the horizontal angle. So the only difference is now, uh, that one there, I should read in from the solar panels, from the uh, daylight sensor. We should be reading in the horizontal angle. Uh, yeah, we'll believe that. Um, once again, the input comes from the logic reader. The output goes to the solar panels, and we shall be reading the horizontal, writing the horizontal angle. If I switch that on. They should all turn around. Well, these ones, we haven't set the solar angle, so those ones will be wrong. But it should point around to roughly that angle. And that looks about right. Boop, done. So we're reading the horizontal angle and writing that. So that's done what it has to do. Now for the vertical, uh, it's got to be done a bit differently because now uh, we're reading zero degrees directly upwards, whereas the solar panels are reading 90 degrees directly upwards. So it's it's not been made super simple, but uh, it'll do. Now, uh, so we shall want from this one. Once again, we want a logic reader. Well, there you are, boop, and I shall want a batch writer writing back out of that. Um, let's turn that around to make it just a little bit neater. Uh, oop. Right, turn you around, which in that way, so the output is pointing away here. So from that I shall also need a, a, a logic processor, just the one. Oh God, just get a stack of them though. And the uh, logic memory, just the one. Right, so writing into this one, uh, point you that way. The git logic memory can go into there, eat you away, and the input oh, batch writer, there we go. And yeet you away. 
Now, from there, we should want to hook up. Now, power. Oops. And bits and pieces to you. You want power as well. You go in there. You there. You there. You there. Right. Now, if we grab a screwdriver. Uh, so our logic reader will be look, hook, hooked up to the uh, daylight sensor. It is now reading the uh, vertical. Right, switch that on. Can we get there before the sun sets? We'll see. So vertical at 60 degrees. So from zero upwards, it's 60 degrees down. That looks about right. Now to do the math on it, we only need the one math process. What we want to do is take 90 degrees uh, on that one there. We want to, uh, I've put in the wrong one of them, haven't I? You fool. Logic math. There we go. Now, so we want to take the 90, which is that one there, uh, you from the logic memory, and we want to subtract what's coming out of here at input 2. We want to subtract 90 minus uh, the horizontal angle uh, gives us a 21. Yeah, we'll believe that. And once again, we're outputting that from the logic math to the solar panels and it gives the vertical angle. Switch that on and that looks like it's going to go to the right spot. And we should have 100% solar tracking on that one. Boop, 100%. There we go. So that is a fuel, full a dual axis solar tracking, which used to be a lot of chips, is now being, just being reduced to this. So it has been greatly simplified. Um, but yeah, if you don't go up and change all your solar trackers now, you will only get power in the morning. That'll be it. Nothing else. Uh, so first thing you do in your bases, go rip out your old solar trackers and put in new ones. They're a lot simpler now, so don't fret. Um, it's easier. And now if you do prefer scripting, once again, it is very simple. I've got all my logic chips shut off. I still have the sensor in the same orientation. Solar panels are still the same. All we have to do now is alias our sensor into d0 and start yield right now for the horizontal once again same with the chips we just have to load into r0 the sensor horizontal zontel and a save batch um, to our solar panels. Let's define them, shall we? Uh, define solar, which are solar panel uh, dual. That's that one there. Done. Right, save batch to these solar panels. Uh, horizontal. Ah. Oh. Horizontal. Wow. Uh, R0. That's the horizontal set. Simple. Uh, load into R0 from the sensor, the uh, vertical, and we subtract. R0 equals a 90 minus that angle, R0, and a save batch to the solar vertical, R0, and jump back to the start. Well, that's simple. There are five lines of code inside your loop, and that's it, full solar tracking. Oops. Sub. Aha. Export. Ah, it's looking better. 
And I wondered why it was pointing to the horizon when it wasn't even midnight. That's the code you're looking for. Once again, five lines of code in a loop, and that will do your dual axis solar tracking. Right, so that's your solar tracking. It is uh, changed. Uh, solar panels now operate differently. Uh, there was the percentage vertical was always a bit weird. It makes a lot more sense now. The logic setups are a lot simpler. Um, Yes, it's a change. You have to go back to any old save games. You will have to throw away your old scripts, throw away your logic setups and rebuild them all. But this is a lot more sensible, the setups now. They're a lot simpler and they just make sense. So, um, yeah, if you don't like it, tough. I think it's a big improvement. Um, but as I say, that's it. Any old tutorials you see that have been written before this one or before now, before this update, they will all be wrong because they'll be giving the wrong maths for the solar tracking. The solar panels will still move, the solar systems will still uh, function. They'll just point the solar panels in the wrong direction. So, uh, yeah, ignore the old tutorials, get on with the new ones and uh, get your solar tracking working. Right, but that's about it for today. So till next time, happy building. See ya.